First and foremost, welcome to the experience. I'm your host, Stephen the Dream. This is this that in the third interview series. We're live in No Stress Sound Academy. He shot at No Stress Sound Academy in Charlotte, North Carolina. Any type of recordings you need, pull up, pop out. It's the number one No Stress recording studio in the city, man. Huge shot at the creative eye visuals, TG the flair, TG the Vinci behind the scenes, behind the camera. Got a very, very special guest in the building today. Something we don't do too often. One, connect with the producers on this level because the producers make the sound. The producers are the ones that's, that's we bump into, we listening to. But when I get a chance to bring somebody up from South Carolina, I'm always going to show love, show out. Shout out my dog, Jay Kelp, in the building, man. What's up with you, bro? What's going on, big dog? Pageland in the building. Yes, sir. What the hell is in Pageland, bro? Because <laughs> I look, I tell you, I grew up in, I grew up uh, like through my high school years in Lancaster. Yeah. And they're like, I thought Lancaster was like, all right. But they was like, nah, you go a little bit further. You know what I'm saying? Pageland. And I ain't ever really make my way out that way. But if it was anything like Lancaster, then you tell me what it was like. I well, know. I would say it, you get your small town feel. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows everybody. Everybody pretty much family there. You know what I'm saying? And one main attraction that does bring people to Pageland is the Watermelon Festival. We had that. Watermelon Festival. Mm-hmm. We had it in June. So what's coming up? July actually, yeah. It's coming up. What 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 goes down? What goes so, um, you got like vendors, all type of food trucks. Um, you got seed spitting contests, um, you got watermelon idol. You know how that have the American Idol, they got the watermelon idol too. Carolina country shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got like a parade, parade that caps off the watermelon festival. Yep. yep. Yeah. You got people walking around and uh conversating and you know what I'm saying, selling watermelon watermelons and you know what i'm saying all type of stuff like that it's a big thing in a well i would say a small relatively small town yeah everybody gonna be there you're gonna see everybody pretty much so i i share that experience uh because i'm from fort Mill, mm-hmm. which we had the uh strawberry festival okay you know what i'm saying we definitely did the same thing everybody there the, the vendors and all that and i say all that to say um I, we probably can relate to a lot of things especially being in south carolina and not seeing a lot of musical influence mm-hmm. like I ain't gonna lie, I really like the first thing, like, I, gospel was the first thing I heard of somebody from this place, an area that could go and do something. But then after that, it was like, uh, Lil Rue. Yeah. And then my, my boys, uh, Elroy. Yeah. Elroy, and it was like, it really wasn't much. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What was your experience like in terms of getting into music? Because I the internet had to be my friend. Right? Yeah. Um, I pretty much internet, basically. Um, it wasn't a whole bunch of musical influences coming from South Carolina. Like you said, it was State House and they yeah, they was from Columbia. Um uh, no, nah, Orangeburg. That started in Orangeburg. Orangeburg. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Orangeburg. It started in Orangeburg. Um uh, LaRue. I forget what LaRue from. Uh Charleston area, all that area. Yeah. yeah down there in the, in the sticks. Um Nah, other than that, ain't too many. Ain't too many. I'm sure there's some others like oh, don't get it twisted. We got I'm sure some people we just not thinking. Um, but even I'm naming artists and it's hard to find. I'm sure to name a producer, like just off the top of the head, especially growing up, we didn't see it. I mean, now uh-huh. I'm sure there's other ones, but growing up, like, whoo. Exactly. Woo. So what, what, what put you into that light? Because, um, like, I, like I said, I don't, I don't know if you're in your 20s, or, you know what I'm saying, where you really at with it, but like, I was a Napster baby. Mm-hmm. So, like, I had to, you know what I'm saying, get my music through the internet and, you know, even the beats and stuff. Like, how does one from South Carolina get that love and that passion? Um, to be honest, it started from my boy. My boy was rapping at the time, and um, he had told me to make beats because he needed somebody to to get beats from. Mm-hmm. So, um, I started doing that, and he didn't he didn't necessarily like gravitate to me at first, but um, I just fell in love with it from there. Break it down though, like when you started, like how you how you did you even know like that you make beats? Like what 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 was the first thing you saw? Like was it Timberland? Like not even saw. It might have been like did you play a piano and you found out that's how they make the keys to the one song you like like give me the breakdown nah like believe it or not uh south south was one of my biggest influences Outside. coming out mm-hmm. okay and um oh, that's an error. yeah when i bro gucci man my favorite rapper so you know i was listening to him flock wood kid old man zay tovin yeah i'm thinking of all the yeah yeah definitely mm-hmm. so, so good. yeah um that's basically my biggest influence i when i saw like he was basically like clicking stuff in and doing the stuff that I was doing at the time. I was like, man, if he can do it, I can do it too. You know what I'm saying? So that's where that came from. Why not Why not go the rapper route? Um, or did you rap? Did you try to or be an artist more so? Are you an artist more so? I, it was short-lived. Like, um, 
I had like lyrics and stuff written down on my paper, but like once I heard everybody else's, I was like, nah, bro, I'm gonna just stick to beats, bro. You gonna stick to the beats? Yeah. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Yeah, pull back just a little bit. We shout out to the creative, creative eye visuals behind the scene, keeping this right. So, as as a you know, as a music producer, you're literally putting the sound together, the beat. Um, do you what do you think more is more important these days to the song? Is it the beat? Is it the words? Oh my that's your that's your sound like the 808 is the thing that you use or the thing that you just love when you listen to it okay so so kanye i'm mm. assuming or or put me on game the 808 and you know that ain't really the kanye that's what we hear kanye the 808s and heartbreaks and yeah kid yeah. cuddy and it was more south side i'm more trap baby more okay okay so south side and, Give me J. Kel, give me this then, because before, like, shoot, I didn't even know what Southside looked like probably up until a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. What do you think the evolution and transition has been to where producers are on the forefront, where you got people booking a producer because, like, Murder Beats got his own shit. You booking Murder Beats because all the songs he's bringing, or you booking, you know, such and such, whoever that is. Like, mm-hmm. give me the evolution that you done seen, or do you feel like that's a good thing, a bad thing? I think it's great, bro, because. Beforehand, producer wasn't even getting no love like that. Mm, what a producer look like, bro. <laughs> I knew for real, Timberland and Drake. Mm-hmm. That's about it. Mm-hmm. So, um, the the fact that now you get that opportunity, like, have you been able to do that? Have you been able to step into that? Or because I, a lot of producers I know are kind of recluse, actually. Like, they want to be in that school locked in and mm-hmm. really out there like that. And it's been a transition. I know it's a good thing, but is that something you able to do? I mean, I wouldn't mind, but I haven't done it before. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be it'd be something to get used to. I'm, I'm more of a I'm more of a stew guy. I don't mind getting locked in at the stew, but um, things are changing. So yeah. J. Kelt, take me to how you got your name. Like, is it honest? Did you have to think about it? Was you some other producer? Is it like give give me that? I don't really know I had to think about. It. It's my name short, pretty oh, much. My government name is Joshua Kelty. You know what I'm saying? So, first initial. Put it together. Yeah. You don't ever think you should come up with like a super persona or something like that? Nah. Crazy. You just gonna keep it, keep it like it is. Keep yeah. it basic. I'm gonna keep it basic, bro. I hear in your beats you like to keep it basic too. Mm-hmm. Three, four sounds. It's gotta be like what makes the like. What's your beat production what, what are you putting together how are you putting together? yeah it's mainly three four sound no more than five i try not to condense the beat with all types of craziness going on in there because you got to leave room for the artist at the end of the day all right and it could right. be it could be like the it could be the the plan is beat and the artist could take it and ride with it and make it a hit a lot of the best songs is like that um so in terms of like production give me give me like top three right now and then give me like your favorite five all the time. Give me top three right now. You think just killing it, you know what I'm saying? Doing their thing, you respect them, they motivate you, see them working, like going crazy. Um, 20. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Uh, for sure. Jess May. For sure, for sure. South Carolina yeah. did that. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of a dude who made Drake's song. Um, 40? Nah, not 40. 40. Um, I'm trying to think of his name. I can't think of his name right now. He, he, he from he from South Carolina too. Uh, Damn, I know you. Uh, the one that made the baby song too, my boy. Uh, not, I can't think of his name, bro. Not Sean. Nah, nah, nah. Um, Brandon, Super uh, yeah, Mario, I think. Super Mario. Yeah. Nah, I think that's nah. Super Mario from South Carolina too. Yeah. So that's what you talking about for sure. Mm-hmm. For sure. Nah, he hard. Okay, that's a good mix. That's 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 dope. And I know you actually um came to the event. 20 on my beat that, mm-hmm. that recently had happened um yeah. how, how was that like what do you what do you get out of stuff like that or what did you get out of that event like, i thought it was lit like i've never been to anything like that so right. to be able to come out and network and you know what i'm saying have play beats for somebody who's already on and him give you tips and you know what i'm saying just give feedback on it was big to right. Me. right right and i think you know the collab is really what do you feel about collab because I'll, I'll, I'll speak on it but like what are your thoughts on collabs with other producers? Collabing, bro. collabing is like everything these days because that's how you're going to get your music out you can't do it by yourself these days it takes more than one person so collabing is the way to get your music heard i tell people collaborate don't compete like 
put that shit together. Like, we ain't got to, you know what I'm saying? It could be competition within it, but we all working towards that thing. Let's put it together. Mm-hmm. Um, Checked out, you know, as a producer, I think it's always dope if you got music out. Like, if you utilizing your BMI to actually drop stuff on platforms. And mm-hmm. I saw you got a um, couple tapes, right? Yeah, I got a couple beat tapes. A couple out. beat tapes out. I think that's dope. Um, You got one that's a collab, I think. Yeah, with a, with a, another producer, Miles and Runner, my boy. Shout out okay. to him. Okay, well, what was the decision behind y'all dropping the tape together? Um, and then just also after you, you know, speak on that, like, talk to me about why you decided to drop the tape just in general. That's different, you know. Um, it was just an idea that basically turned to a tape because I told him like, I was sitting there thinking like, what if we was playing uh, "Lean on Me" on the piano, mm-hmm. and I was like, what if we turn this into a trap song, bro? Uh, and he was like, um, I think it'd be all right. We should do that. So um, we we did it for four more songs and we put that out and um, had them flips on them. Yeah, we we flipped a little song. So uh, I thought that was lit. And then my idea behind putting the beat tape out is just to to get my sound out because I didn't have any artists at the time and I wanted to get my sound out somehow. So that's what I decided to do. Put it out in the world. Let mm-hmm. it let it be out there. That was uh free work. Is that mm-hmm. what that is. Mm-hmm. And I saw you had like different type of vibes on there too. Um, what goes into like especially a beat tape picking a name for a song or picking a file name like <laughs> talk to me like take me into that world because i i um get to work with i got 20 of my beat i get to be around but i'm not a producer like, yeah I ain't, y'all get a beat from me you know what i'm saying you might want to check that motherfucker a couple times just to make sure you, you know so now it ain't, it ain't no telling i might put a tag on it but i ain't do nothing with it <laughs> but because i think it's just such a like it's it's just a world that I'm just not familiar with, the jargon, the language, and the different things that happen. But mm-hmm. like, going into even naming the files and remembering, like, damn, that's that beat, or let me go get this for this person. How does that work? Or the organizer, are you an organized person? Like, take me through that. Yeah, I try to be as organized as I possibly can. And the way um, the way somebody showed me was to be like, um, now I don't even, like, name them. It's more like I put them, uh, I put different genres. So if it's trap, I put such and such trap, this big this BPM, this key, you know what I'm saying? I might put a little name behind it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So if I want to look for trap beats, I don't got to be looking all over my my uh, my hard drive for trap beats or, you know what I'm saying, melodic beats or any type of beat like that. So um, basically, when I um, when I named that stuff, I was just going with the flow, seeing what it felt like. Yeah. Whatever it felt like, I just put it down there. Because I'll be seeing, like, we'll do the skip line and i get some names of the beats and, like, I'll be wanting to say of it. I'm like... He probably just put something down, or maybe he wanted to be called that, but it's like then it'll put you in the mind of like, all right, I don't know if you're trying to like island, island boy, and then you playing that it's a song with a Caribbean vibe to it. Okay, you already put me there, or it might be something different because you throwing me off. I don't know. So mm-hmm. that's, that's a good way uh, that you explained it though. It's about being able to get there. I guess fastest to get. You know, you trying to get to the money. That's mm-hmm. the fastest thing. So Jay Kelt here with us. This, that, and the third interview series. Um, just going back to like picking different sounds getting with artists you know you said you did, it wasn't with an artist but i know now you work with an artist or you, you got a song out with an artist or it's not out but okay, it's okay. on release on release mm-hmm. how did that feel did you actually lock in and y'all made it together it was one of the things where it was a send out situation still or like yeah it was a, it was three of us we were sitting together and um my boy was like uh make a melody for me so i made a melody for him and my boy put the drums to it and um before you know it about a week later um my boy went to the yo locked in with my boy and um basically that's how the song was made you happy with it you like it yeah i think it's a hit nice nice can we play it sure <laughs> we're gonna play it then we're gonna play it in a minute before we before we do it i'll let you get that ready um if you would pull it pull that up so we can you know give him a little taste we won't give him too much of it um but when we go before we go into it i do want to ask you like um Gucci man, I know you said your favorite artist, mm-hmm. but like give me give me an artist that you think you could work with and put something together for and it'd be beneficial to both of y'all. So maybe like a not even an up and coming artist, but Gucci like you get a Gucci beat, all right, that's gonna do more it might do more for Gucci, but in reality it's probably gonna do more for you than Gucci. Right. Give me an artist you think you could turn up, spice up, or just, you know what I'm saying? Maybe got a vibe for it that you you know, it might be looking like, bro. Mm-hmm. It, it could be locally. It could be anywhere. Mm. Hmm. I put him on the spot. Facts. He's like, I want to work with all y'all niggas. <laughs> Everybody in the game. 
Whoever <laughs> watching, let's work. Yeah, facts. Uh, but any, any particular, see. you got like one that's in the cut. Like, bro, you need this right now. Like, I got it for you. Mm, to be honest, I don't, man. I just, I just hear stuff and I think, okay, that'll go well with what I'm doing. Mm. So, so it ain't even about the. It's, it's, you just trying to make the best beat. The best. Beat. All right, that's dope. That's dope. So that yeah, because anybody can come along and kill this shit. I guess you think it's bigger picture. Mm-hmm. J. Kel here with us. Let's do this. I want you to introduce the song. Give them like a little minute, you know what I'm saying? I don't give them too much, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Tell them what they about to hear and we'll play it for them. Rock out. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy J. Kel checking in, man. And this song is Back on the Run by my boy Bankhead the Jigger, man. Hope y'all enjoy. Let's get it, man. J. Kel on this motherfucker. Time to go. That's it right there. It's time to shut down the kitchen. Shut down the Put kitchen. the pack on the road. Pack on the road. Pack on the road. initiative. Yeah. On my truck going cold. Truck going Hear them cold. canines, they barking. Canines but they I won't stop the running. Nah. Hear them engines and them Chevys riding heavy, they coming. Yeah. All the snitches be talking. They elderly just be looking. Yeah. They trying to get us for that straight drop by. We cooking. Yeah. Innovative, evasive, a trap. I see evacuation. Yeah. That grind tight. Out of time, my new destination. Yeah. See, you can catch me in Florida. Riding on 85. On 85. You can catch me in the shy with my tray in the sky. My tray all I know, keep it moving. Get on follow promotion. Get on follow promotion. Put the money in the bag and a lot of them smoking. Yeah, I'm hopping the fences and yeah. just hopping the yeah. mall. I'm ducking yeah. the mall. Yeah. Still a whip, yeah. ducking the law. They got warrants and papers, and I got papers and grounds. Yeah. The stamina plan, the work is in the van. I'm back on the run. Call truth, tell the homie, flush the dope. Grab the money and the guns, cause it's HOF. I'm back on the run. Panamera Porsche, got the Panamera white bricks wrapped in clear ceramic. I'm back on the run. I know the task force is out to get me. I just pray this bitch I'm fucking with ain't snitching. I'm back on the run. Hit the inner city, the high in Philly, I-20, got a chicken Mississippi. I'm back on the run. Tell them what they just heard. Just, just again. One more time. Back on the run by Bank Hitter Jig. Back on the run. So that's your first track, right? That's your first uh, placement with an artist. Um. I'm sure it's more to come. I'm sure it's a lot more that you want to do. What What do you see for yourself in the next like half of this year? Is it more? Is it another tape you want to drop? Um, are you looking to work with more artists? Like, give us your rundown, your vision for the next couple. Well, I'm looking to work with more artists. I think um, the tapes will come per se, but mainly I just want to work with artists. Um, I want more songs out because I, I, yeah, I think like having people on your beat will probably be the best the best thing. Like that makes makes it makes the world go around so you got beat star yeah i got beat star all right shout out to beat star so they know, you know oh it's uh it's a uh, beat stars backslash jkl underscore talk B-Star. about this because i know like you know you're doing your thing is it are you not even concerned but like paying the producers is a big thing it's like my thing like you pay the producers man Facts. And it don't mean like you. It's always front end. Like you can work on the back end, but make sure that it's it's done right and, it's, and you get paid. Mm-hmm. Have you really jumped into the business, or have you had any experiences where you had to like, all right, I really got to make sure I'm taking care of my business? I mean, I know you just start working with artists, but in reality, that's the thing you want to take care of now, mm-hmm. so you don't deal with it later. Just talk about that. Get that part. Well, I'm in the process and get my business straight right now. So, I feel like um, I feel like I got most of it, but I need an LSC. That's the biggest thing I need right now. Know, Biggest thing is to get my LLC. So but once you get that, and um, you know what I'm saying, you just start treating this as if it's like this is a whole business, like all all day, every day. It's a business. It's transactional. There's things that you can do to advance yourself with business things and really turn up. And that's uh, a lot of it is cap. People say a lot of the cap is real, but it's just handling your business really. Mm-hmm. You make it like you want. So, um, what's your favorite program? FL Studio. FL Studio. You a beat maker guy? Do you fool with the uh, machines too, or you you you're clickable? I've never uh I never messed with the machines. I got a uh I got a Akai. I got a little okay. okay. Yeah, I got a little something, but uh I ain't huge with machines. I know you did the tape where you did the flips. Are you more of a sample guy, or you want more all original sound? Mm, it depends. Mm. I can do both. Them samples you get sometimes. <laughs> Find that right one. That ain't nobody really touched that either. It's like. I know y'all be like, okay, I'm about to fuck this up. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Um, well, dang, J. Kelp, man. It's been dope talking to you, bro. I want to see you continue to succeed, especially being from South Carolina, bro. Like, I think this is our year. Like, I, I know we, you know, was along with that North Carolina run, but 
I'm seeing a lot of good stuff out of South Carolina. I'm seeing a lot of people just do their thing. Um, any last words, anything you want to, you know, let the people know where they can find you, all that good stuff? Um, y'all can find me on Instagram at jkelt, that's you, J-K-E-L-T-T-H-A-S-Y-O-U underscore. Um, I appreciate everybody watching this interview. Shout out to everybody who rocking with me. Shout out to everybody watching this interview, man. Shout out Stephen the Dream. For sure, for shout sure. out my boy TJ, man. TJ rocking with us on the mic, man. Absolutely. Man, look, shout out to you as well because um you a real one. We did a show, shout out to the school day show, and I'm I'm thinking Jay Kelt coming as like an artist, you know what I'm saying? At first, Jay Kelt was like, nah, bro, I'm just about to about to rock out. So we he ended up playing his beats, man. Everybody rapping on this shit. Cypher going <laughs> crazy. We in there rocking. I think I might have jumped on a little something, something for a minute. <laughs> Um, but I just wanted to tell you I commend you for taking advantage of the opportunity and I hope it, you know, continues to lead into what you're looking for because I know people want that new sound and if you're going to bring it to them, it's, they here. For they sure. Here. For sure. want to give a huge shout out to No Stress Sound Academy for housing interview today. Creative Eye Visuals, teaching the flair, teaching the Vinci behind the scenes, behind the camera. Make sure y'all give us a follow at This, That, and the Third interview series for more interviews, clips, and freestyles. Make sure y'all follow me at Steven the Dream. That's S-T-E-P-H-E-N-T-H-A Dream. I am the voice of the Carolinas. It's my dog, Jay Kilt. This, that, and the Third. We out.